Hello friends. So in today's video, let's solve the problem uh, split array into consecutive subsequences, which is our daily good daily problem. So for this, what is the, let's understand the question. So we are given an uh, integer array nums which is sorted in ascending, uh, non-decreasing or an ascending order, and we need to find out if it is possible to split the array into one or more subsequences so that both of the conditions are true, right? So first condition is each subsequence is a consecutive increasing subsequence and subsequences have length three or more and we need to return true if it is possible to split the array and yeah so that's uh, else we, we will return false so don't worry if you don't understand the question let me uh, uh, let me try to explain it to you in a better way right so we are given an integer array let's consider this so this is an in integer array right now we need to split this array so in, in in the question it is not specified but yeah it is indirectly clear that we need to split the entire array right means if we uh, divide the array into subsequences like one two or three and four five right so this is not okay right because six is left we need, we also need to split our uh, all of the elements means all of the elements should belong to at least one of the subsequences right or i would say at most one six subsequences because uh, 1, 2 and 3 right but now 3 cannot be the part of this subsequence because it is occurring only once right if 3 had been occurring twice then then it is a different case but since 3 is occurring only once since uh, so it is it cannot be part of this subsequence and this subsequence would be consisting of 4, 5 and 6 so yeah so now you got it the, uh, I hope it is clear that we need to split the entire array it is not that we, uh, we, we can uh, uh, remove some of the elements or like that so we need to split entire array into uh, some possible subsequences such that each subsequence has length greater than or equal to 3. So since this is the first condition and each of the subsequences are consecutive. So what do I, what do, what do the question uh, mean by consecutive? Consecutive means uh, uh, the difference between adjacent character, adjacent elements should not exceed 1 or should exactly be equal to 1. Correct. Yeah. So it, yeah, so this is a consecutive subsequence. Okay. But, uh, this is not a sub this is not consecutive why because the difference adjacent characters difference is zero and it should be exactly one and this is also a not a valid subsequence because since its length is also less than three and one more thing that uh, uh, the it is not consecutive since the difference between adjacent one of the adjacent pair is zero but we require only one so now i hope that uh, I, uh, all of you have got the question so now let's move towards uh, uh, an approach to uh, first the first thing comes to my mind uh, what it uh, what is it so first uh, it uh, the question looks like uh, it is a uh, we need to split into a greedy one right we need to split the array right so what if we could think about some greedy solution also we are told that uh, the subsequence length should be three or more so what if we limit it to 3 only let's first form a subsequence of 3 and then we will uh, form it uh, further if it, it if it is required so here comes uh, one uh, greedy approach which came to my mind uh, and it it may be it is it is possible that uh, it may not come to your mind at the first shot but yeah if you read the question uh, twice or thrice uh, then it may be uh, may, you may get uh, get, it, get the solution right right so uh, what 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 the solution is so let's look at that so 1 2 2 let me take the first test case that is 1 2 2 uh, sorry 1 2 3 3 4 5 okay so it is 1 2 it is yeah it is 1 2 3 3 4 and 5 okay so now uh, this one can belong to any of one of the subsequence right as we discussed that since one one is only present once so it can be only be belong to one of the subsequences now if i take one in my one of the subsequences let's say these are the subsequences which may be possible so if i take one then i need two and three at least why because my, it is said that the length of the subsequence would be at least three means it can be greater than or equal to three right so for one for one to be occurred in a uh, different subsequence, I would require two and three also to be present over there, right? So this is two and this is three. So now I uh, this uh, this all characters are removed, right? Now I have th uh, I have reached over here, right? Three. So at from three I can start a new subsequence, and I all I would require three, four, and five. 
else it would not form a subsequence so this is also greater than 3 and this both are consecutive so our answer to this is yes means we can form this subsequence okay so i am explaining you the test cases so let's look at second test case it is 1 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 okay so it is 1 2 3 3 4 4 5 and 5 okay so what is this in, in this case let's start with one again so one if i taken one then i need to take two i need to take three right now i can see now i can take as many as character i want right but it depends uh, we need to uh, greedily think that uh, including four or five would uh, matter to me or not right so let's say if i have included four and five over here right now what what remains i have one three remaining so one three is remaining still one four is remaining and one five is remaining right so this is a consecutive sequence this is a consecutive sequence both are of length greater than or equal to 3 hence our answer is yes right but as i said see this 4 and 5 the inclusion of 4 and 5 will depend on something right we need to check if we require 4 or 5 over here only or not right because I, if i have if i would, if i would have excluded 4 and 5 then this is a consecutive sequence right till 1 2 and 3 but but the inclusion if i ex, if i had excluded 4 and 5 then i would have still one occurrences of both of them remaining now this is not a, uh, this is a consecutive this is a consecutive sequence right it is correct but as in question we are required that we need at least three length subsequence so this would not form so this is not a valid uh, case right so uh, the inclusion of 4 and 5 was correct means we need to include 4 and 5 but how would we find out that in our code so yeah so now let's look at the last test case and let's see why it is not possible to split it so yeah, yeah it is clear from let's let's take it on one note only one two three four four five okay so this is test case number three and the answer to it is false and let's see it how it is not for forming so i would take one i would take three i would take two and i would take three right so this is complete sequence correct consecutive sequence greater than three following all the criteria now i can also include in this subsequence four and five yeah let's say uh, i have included that but what remains then uh, only one four remains so this is na this is not of less greater than or equal to three hence it fails so if i would not if i would now not taken four and five right then what would remain four four and five right so this is not consecutive again this is of length greater than or equal to three right it is of length at, at least three but it is not consecutive so again it would fail so for this test case the answer is false for that reason right I hope you have got it. Now let's look at how would we solve that. So for that, I would took I would take this example of uh, second test case because it is a good one to explain. One two three three four four five five. Okay. One. Okay. One two three three four four five and five. Right. So let's maintain a hash map which would store the frequencies of all of the elements. So one is occurring once, two is occurring once. 3 is, 3 is occurring twice, 4 is occurring twice, and 5 is occurring twice. Okay, so this is our hash map of frequencies, right? Now we will create one more hash map. Let's name it as need hash map, means what we require. Okay, so let, now let's start iterating over the array, right? So we are at 1, so we are at 1, okay? Yeah, we are at 1. We will first check in this need hash map if we, if we require 1 in any of the previous subsequences or not. So this is basically taking care of the previous uh, subsequences last position, right? So let's say as an example, if this is the case, right? So now in this case, for this subsequence, need of four would be one. Why? Because for this subsequence to be continuous, or I would say to follow the criteria, next character required is four, right? And let's say one more example. Let's take it. So this let's take it this. So let's take it one comma two, right? So now next character required would be three, right? So what it? Uh, so in the need in our need map, need of three would be set to one. Uh, means yeah, means we would do it in our code. We would code it in such way, right? So uh, till, till 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 this point, uh, I hope it is clear, right? So we have this frequency map and all this, right? Now why I would iterate over the hash map? Uh, uh, sorry, I would iterate over the array and check if my if if I require that uh, number in the previous map. Uh, I would say previous subsequence or not if, if it is required then we would include it over there and if it is not required then we would form a new subsequence right but we can but yeah again there is one more criteria if it is not present right since one is not present anywhere here yet in need of one would return a zero 
but uh, yeah so now for one to be a new subsequence we would also require two and three right so for, uh, we can check the counts of two and three from this frequency map correct means i can get the counts of two and three from this frequency map let's say if two didn't exist so if two didn't exist and if one is not required in any of the previous subsequences then this uh, then we, then we would directly return false why because uh, in this in that case one would remain alone and in uh, alone one is is of no sense to us why because it is of length less than or equal to 3 uh, sorry less than 3 so it is not forming a good subsequence correct so i hope till this point it is clear yeah it is bit uh, hard to uh, explain but yeah when i write the code uh, all of you will get it so we had one once two once three twice four twice and five twice right so now need of one uh, so i am forming a new subsequence i am taking one two and three right so i i t i took one two and three right uh, for, uh, means we need at least three right so it could be greater than or equal to three so let's take it for three only means i have while i was i searching for one i i i will only take two and three into consideration so I, now i have reduced my frequency in my frequency here i would uh, also subtract the frequencies because i have taken it as a subsequence so now in in my array i would uh, uh, then i tra- the next the next element which i was known ne- uh, which has a positive frequency is 3 right so i would now start from 3 for uh, i would check if it is 3 is required in any previous subsequences no see this this is the previous subsequence which we have formed now we, if i append 3 over here so it uh, it is wrong right It means we cannot append 3 over here so so that means that 3 would form a new subsequence again in on its own so 3 uh, can to form with 4 and 5 Yeah, okay sorry four is removed uh, yeah we we also had four right so uh, three would form a subsequence with four and five so i would also then again reduce the frequency of three to zero five to one uh, means i would subtract that so this three four five is also another one one of the other subsequences right now yeah so now so see now that that is an interesting case so now five five remains and four remains right we have four comma five remaining in our frequency map means this both are not utilized yet now if i clearly see that for this subsequence next character required is 4 and the next character is required 5 right now so now here comes the use of my need map so need map uh, when when i was iterating for uh, when i completed for this subsequence is need map what it did need of 4 it it set it to 1 right so now it is the case when i'm why i'm at in my array i am at 4 and need of 4 is 1 yeah so we can utilize it over here so in this subsequence we would extend it and i would include 4 and similar is the case with 5 yeah so this is the solution it is a big o of n time complexity and big o of n space complexity because we would be using two hash maps okay so now let me code it down and if if in, if it, if you found if you find it difficult then you can surely comment it down and i would try to explain it in a more uh, good way right so let's declare the size of the nums array and yeah as i said i would require two maps right map of int int frequency map and another map is need right so for let me first uh, increment the frequency of all of the elements correct now uh, yeah so now i would iterate over my array which is my nums array right so i would check if if my frequency of that element is zero right so that means that is already done means i do not need to check for any further so i would con- simply continue it or let's say if if i need if i need of i is greater than 0 so for the, uh, in, in the previous example which we saw so i am saying that need of 4 is 1 right so need of 4 was greater than 0 right so that means that we could adjust 4 in any of the previous subsequences correct because uh, yeah it would satisfy the criteria so now if need of i is greater than 0 now i am utilizing it once so need of i i would uh, uh, subtract that and i would also subtract it from my frequency map because i have utilized it once now what is this is a cri- critical step see now i would make need of i plus 1 plus plus why because after 4 is being utilized in in this example after we have utilized 4 I have after I utilize four. What is required next? Five, right? Correct. So five is required next. So I would in, uh, so I would uh, increment that count. Or let's say if uh, uh, it was the initial case, means all all of uh, none of these none of them are required in the previous subsequent. So we would form a new subsequent. So for that I would check if frequency of i is greater than zero and frequency of 
a plus 1 is greater than 0 and I would also check frequency of i plus 2 is greater than 0 because we need at least 3 range subsequence so we would check for 3 characters, 3 consecutive characters if they are present in our frequency map then what I will do I would subtract, I would simply subtract one of the occurrences of all of them correct so yeah this is done now after that I would trigger need of i plus 3 equal plus plus y because after, after I have utilized 1, 2 and 3 as, an, as in this case we utilized one uh, sorry yeah in this case we utilized one two and uh, sorry in this case we utilized one two and three right now after all of them are utilized we would trigger four to be one because next character required is four so same same in the above case right so now i would trigger need of i plus three equal to one right and if it is not the case i would return uh, if I, if it is not the case i would yeah so if it is not the case if it is uh, if it is not the case i would return if I, if it is not the case i would return false in this case and uh, towards the end we could we can return true because this solution exists so let me try to submit it yeah it got submitted So we are getting correct answer and the time complexity would it would be bigger of n. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so if you have been till the end, please do not forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.